Alright class, so now's the time that we're going to actually learn about tables and the table HTML code. So you need to follow along and do a split screen with your notepad and your web design code on one side of the screen and then the other side of the screen you need to watch the video so you can follow along and do everything as the demonstration does. So um, rewind if you need to, you know, rewind or pause if you need to get that step in, each step in, but um, take no more than 10 minutes and we'll get this done. Now what a table is, is it's an easy way to organize information on your website into rows and columns. It might make it easier to read, easier to view, easier to navigate. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Excel at all, that pretty much is a program to make tables. It's the same concept as like a spreadsheet. So if you don't know what table is or you never saw one before, then the easiest way to learn is just to watch this tutorial and trust me, by the end of it, you'll get it like that. So the first thing that we need to do in order to create a table is to make our table tags. And yes, the keyword for this is table and the ending tag table. So our entire table, all of the information is gonna go in between these tags. So as I said before, tables consist of rows and columns. Now let's go ahead and make a, make a table with two rows. In order to do this, we need the tag TR. This stands for table row. And also at an ending TR, in everything that goes in between the opening and closing TR tag, that's gonna be one row of the table. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it and now we have a table with two rows we don't have any information in there but hey we got a table with two rows it's a start so remember earlier I said that tables consist of rows and columns well in order to make a column in your table go ahead and add some space in between your table rows so we have some room to work and you might think that the keyword for this is TC but it's not it's actually TD and I believe this stands for table data why they didn't name it column I don't know it would have made a lot more sense but hey uh, you know I don't make the rules they do so anyways TD and also an ending TD maybe it stands for touchdown who know and anything you put inside here is gonna show up in that column so let me go ahead and let me go ahead and just copy this so now our first table row has three columns in it. So if we copy this and paste it right here, so check it out. We have a table and it has one row and another row right here and each of these rows have three columns. Now if you save this and refresh it right now, we will get an empty screen. Even though we have a table there, if we don't have any data inside, then nothing's going to show up because it's like a blank table so let's go ahead and add some data um just write you know whatever's on your mind let's see what's on my mind today fish in capital letters must have accidentally hit caps lock um apples let's see what else tuna dang I must be hungry or something uh let's see a tuba you know musical um ham chops and let's see corn with a question mark like uh, you know you're asking someone a sentence or a question or something who knows whatever six things are on your mind throw in there so let's go ahead and save this and see what we got go ahead and refresh this and you can see that our table now consists of the two rows here's row one and here's row two and each of these uh, rows has three columns one two three in the first one one two three in the second one and if you kinda highlight over it you can kinda see the border which brings me to another point um, if you don't quite understand yet, trust me, here's a little attribute that you can add to your table to make it a lot more clear, or a lot clearer. More clear or clear? I don't know what the correct term is, but anyways, you see how um, our table has no borders and the edges are kind of hard to see? Well, table has an attribute called border, and you can set it equal to however thick you want the border to be. So let's go ahead and just make it one pixel thick and save it and check it out we now have a table that's a whole lot easier to see that yes it does in fact consist of two rows with three columns in each row so yeah that may be a little bit easier so from now on I'm probably gonna add that attribute in the upcoming tutorials just cuz it makes everything a lot more clear so anyways that is your basics of how to create a table how to create individual rows and columns and in theory you can have as many rows as you want 
and also as many columns in each row. So um, yeah, that's it. And <clears throat> another thing I want to point out before I let you guys go, you see that all we did is add text into these columns or table data but you can add anything that you would add in the body for example if I wanted to add an image right here I could add an image if I wanted to add a link or a paragraph or a header I could do that so anything that you could add in the body of your website you can add in a table data so that's how you create tables um, I hope you enjoyed don't forget to stick around for the next couple of tutorials because we are not done with tables yet. There's a whole slew of things to cover. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.